Go ahead, please. Trot. This horse is in the development stage, so it's very nice to have it, have him to, to, uh, to show it to you. Go ahead, ride him a little bit forward. Do a couple steps extension. Get him going just a little bit. Or pick up the canter, whatever you feel is right right now. Go ahead. Push him forward a little more. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Do a few steps of passage. You collect him a little bit more. Bigger the half hold, Sharon. Got little taps with the whip in time with the rhythm. A little more. And give him some half holds. Collect the passage and bring him back to Piaf. Touch him a little bit with the whip. Make him go forward. Come on. A little lower. Don't hit him so high. Yep. Good girl. Give him some half holds and forward into the passage. Don't lean back. Don't lean back. Go forward. Good girl. Praise him. Pat him. It saves me a lot of time if I truly make sure that the horse is correctly collected. I practice with him canter walk transitions. I make sure I've established a pretty good collected walk. And I say pretty good, I mean the horse can do a walk pirouette and he doesn't stop and I don't have to put a whip or a spur on him. He's active. He's going through the neck, up into the outside rein and in both directions. I also don't sit light off the saddle. I don't sit heavy in the saddle. I don't do anything with my hands to make the horse piaf. Absolutely nothing. And I don't do anything with my hands to make him passage other than a consistent half halt that is sometimes not visible. But it's done in rhythm with the rhythm of that particular passage. I use my legs slightly forward for the passage, slightly back for the piaf. This is also, for me, allowed a quicker development of the understanding of the transition from Piaf to Passage. This horse, as you well know, won this Grand Prix special last week at Orlando. He's not a finished Grand Prix, but he's, he's coming into his own. He's doing really good. So we're going to ask Shelley to do... Uh, the, pas uh, the passage first and some transitions back to Piaf. Not quite so much left rein. Do that once more. That's the girl. Good. Shorten your reins. Think forward. Think forward. Do just a uh, walk him, Shelley, and do just a little canter on the right lead and push him forward. Get him going into the bride a little bit more. <clears throat> Okay, dear, bring him back. And when you're ready, try a Piaf transition. Go ahead, bring him back somewhere. Forward, forward. That's okay. Once more, stay there a few more steps. Go ahead, passage, Piaf. Good girl, very nice. Once more. Collect him. Stay there longer. Stay there. Stay there. You can do it. Stay there. Good girl. Praise him.
Thank you, Walk. You could see the difference between the Duke of Earl and this horse. This horse has been doing about a year longer. You could see that the maintenance of the regularity of the rhythm was very clean. The fluidity of the trot wasn't interfered. It was an easy transition, easy transition out. Now what we're going to do is track to the left. Sharon, uh, Shelley, turn around. Tooney, just crank, crank him up a little bit. Let's go one behind the other. Shelley first, Sharon second. Can we go collect the trot, please? Everybody. In the middle of the long side, I want each of you to come back and try the Piaf. So we can get a picture of all of these guys together. Shelley, I want it almost in place. Bring him right back to Piaf. A little more, Sharon, a little more. Come on, Sharon, try harder. Good, good, Sharon, good, good. Okay, girls, good. Robert Dover next offers some thoughts on showmanship. But first, he echoed Michael's and Hilda's words, saying he was far more successful playing the horses through their Piaf exercises, gradually increasing their understanding rather than by forcing them to do it. That's how to train. You see, because that allows him to train himself. And so when he comes to that place that one of my old horses would come to because he wasn't trained with that feeling, he was trained, when he, he was trained like you had to do it right there. And so, he, so it, it was trained to me this way, that I would turn and he would come to there and he would be hit. Well, if every time you went someplace and you got hit, would you want to go there? No. So instead, and I mean, I, 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 this is where I, I honestly always want to compliment Michael Poulin because his horses Piaf Passage as if they're having a great time doing it, because they are. It's no big deal. They do it because it's a fun thing to do, and that, this is what I try to do as well now with my horses. Since this one horse that that basically I allowed to do to, to be trained the wrong way and I always remembered that and so from now on we remember that a piaf is a trot, a passage is a trot, an extended trot is a trot, a collected trot is a trot, they're all one and the same. The horse has to always be thinking that he's trotting on the contact in a direction that is collected.